Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're going to be touching on some spell break. Um, we've got some brand new news about the three new talents that are coming to the game on um, October the 22nd. So that's next week, next week, Thursday. Um, so we're going to go through it, have a read together, find out exactly what these talents are. Don't forget, I will always put the link to this Reddit in the description down below so you can fully read it at your own leisure and uh, pace. And also, guys, please hit the sub button, smash that like button, hit the noti bell so you never miss any videos from myself. Whether that's spell break, Apex Legends, any news, just hit that noti bell, guys. And uh, if you want to go above and beyond the code above my head, use that in the Epic Game Store when you're buying gold for spell break, Fortnite, Rogue Company, any Epic Games, if you want to help support me and the channel. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you. Let's get into it. So. It's the last day of the prologue reveal and we're going to talk about the new talents coming your way before we launch into the new stuff i want to talk about talents in a more general way all right so we don't want to go i'm not going to read that guys they're just they're just basically explaining their view on the meta so you can read that for yourself but onto the goodies right here we go so vigor it's a mind talent it's going to cost three and it gives you 25 health 30 health 35 and 50. okay so that's pretty good Whilst this isn't flashy, it's very powerful. This is a straightforward thick talent. <laughs> if you want something that will make you beefy, but don't want to think about it past that, vigors your pick. Combine it with recovery and good fight management, and you'll be very yeah. That's 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 very true. That's very tanky, guys. That's going to be cover that. Ooh, yes, body talent foresight. It's another free cost. See future storms and mana vaults. Okay, and then you can also see enemies on the minimap. So basically, it's like a, a UAV from Call of Duty, for example. This talent flips its strength over time at the start of the match while the ping cooldown is long and the enemies are often spread out. You'll be able to leverage knowledge of the upcoming vaults and storms to better plan your movement and looting. Okay, okay. Now, this is the big, this is the big one ambidextrous it's a spirit talent it costs free as well so all of these are free gain one oh sorry gain level one skill of your offhand gauntlets class offhand spell mana cost minus 5 10 15 25 percent okay so basically <laughs> i can be a pyro class and then i can also have the level one talent of stone for example, so I can, wow, okay guys, this is gonna be exciting. Yes, this is exactly as crazy as you think, and yes, it works, what? It works with Spell Slinger as well. Holy moly, okay. This potentially breaks the game wide open and returns some of the combining atric craziness that we had during pre-alpha with dual classes. Ever wanted to have Combust on Conduit? Done. Want stone skin on frost prawn? Sure, let's do it. Wind surge on stone shaper? Feel my to stand in your way. Go nuts. Of the three talents, this definitely has the largest potential impact on the game due to the build flexibility it creates. It's no longer possible to immediately determine that the opponent is a pyromancer just because you see one of their fireballs. Likewise, if you need to get somewhere quickly, you can always pick up a frost gauntlet Oh yeah, to utilize the ice skating skills. Edit. Someone asked how these will be unlocked and I wanted to call it out on the post itself and not in the comments. These are all unlocked from the start, so enjoy them from the moment the patch goes live. Oh my gosh. All right, that wraps up our week of reveals ahead of the prologue and we haven't even touched on the clash itself. We'll see if we can't share more info on that next week. Stay tuned guys for clash, clash information next week. P.S. I mentioned something yesterday about a way to find more potions and something on a stream the other day about finders keepers getting a buff. So I'll peek over my glasses, raise my eyebrows and say, I'll leave this as an exercise for the reader. <laughs> okay. Guys, man, I don't want to keep this too long. This is insane. You've got, ah, oh, like... I'm not too sure which one I would want to run. You've got Vigor for the extreme tankiness. 
because you can combine that with recovery so you've got extra health and you've got the health regen um foresight uh, i'm not too sure about that one in a solo game i don't see that being that viable unless you're trying to chase high kill games in a team composition that's going to be very very handy because knowledge is obviously key um but ambidextrous guys the fact that you can also combine this with spell slinger as well i mean i run pyro mostly so you can basically have um my pyro skills and then like like it says here if i wanted to run frost as my off offhand gauntlet i can ice skate away if i want to have the stone shaper armor regen i can have that as well oh my days guys this is really exciting i'm really hyped for spell break but as you could probably notice i've had a little break off spell break um jesus <laughs> um just because i've been waiting for this new content to come the new update the clash 9v9 i'm going to be playing a lot of clash when it comes when it goes live so stay tuned for that subscribe if you're new hit the like button and i will see you in the next one take care guys peace